the far back as I can remember, but um, Bodies and Motions was the first time where I actually got paid for my services, besides teaching. If you could only do one of your crafts, yeah. we're talking directing, the poetry, the dance, the acting, producing, the writing. Mm. I don't know if I could choose. Mm -hmm. I would feel incomplete with, you know, if I just, you know, if I had to give up one, I, I wouldn't feel the same because I love it all. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, my passion is just the arts, period. Yes. And I love to do it all, you know, maybe not all the time. But if I'm given an opportunity, I would love to just do different things. Mm -hmm. I, I, I want it all. I don't want to ever have to choose, yes. you know, mm -hmm. maybe for a particular time where you can, you get hired for a job and you might not be doing, you know, dancing, but you're acting or you may not be doing poetry, but you're singing. So whatever job comes first, that's what I'm doing. But I, I love it all. I don't want to ever give it up. Okay. Yeah. All right. Can you give us and your fans uh, a treat of some poetry? <laughs> Recite some poetry for us just off the top of your head. Oh. Hey. So sometimes I wake up at night and then I can't go to sleep. I'm just thinking of thoughts all creeping upon my head. And I try to pray to God that it'll be okay. But then I can't because I can't let go. And moving forward to the next day don't seem to come so, come so slow. But I'm starting to realize that I gotta let go. Let go, let go. I can't let go. Sometimes I don't know if I'm in a box or if this is really real. Am I just dreaming? Why am I here? And then I pause again. Why am I here? It gotta be more than this. Every time I walk on the city streets, I see this dope dealer in there, hook a whore, trick, whatever. I mean, man, is that what it comes to today? 2008, I mean, it ain't playing. And 2008 keeps on moving, but I feel moving. I still move slow because I can't let go. I try and I try. And the tear, that one tear comes down and then it disappears. Why am I here? I try to look in the mirror and see who, who it is, who's really there. I look to my left and my right and I still fit nowhere. I'm trying and I'm trying and I can't break free, but I remember to breathe. I did take yoga the other week and it's supposed to help you connect with your spirit and mentality, but for some odd reason, just that tear. I can't let go, and I'm trying to. Finally, I get some sleep, and the sun comes up, and now I'm living the next morning. It's dawn, and I'm learning. Letting go. Letting go. Wow. <laughs> Excellent. I'm, I'm sweating. I'm like, woo! <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> Wonderful job. Thank you. Miranda, I just want to thank you oh. for coming into my home, oh, into my celebrity, being one of my celebrities <laughs> in the basement. <laughs> and uh, that was wonderful. I just want to thank all of you for also coming into my basement at Celebrities in the Basement. And Remember this lady, Miranda. She just goes by Miranda. Uh, you're gonna hear and see a lot of her, especially if I have anything to do with it. Again, thank you. I'm Karen Waller Martin. I just want you to remember, to every one fan, you have two haters. Stay focused on your dreams and always, always keep God first. Again, thank you for coming into my basement, Celebrities in the Basement. I'm Karen Waller-Martin. God bless.